Hi guys and welcome to Rufus and Doofus. How are you today? Um, we're over at the RV. Uh, anybody who's been following the channel knows uh, that I've been having some tr trouble with the uh, engine. Uh, when you depress the throttle all the way, it seems to want to starve itself out. Um, so I uh, had been looking for a code reader and it arrived yesterday evening. So today I'm over here uh, trying to diagnose what's wrong with the engine. And uh, this is um, a Ford code reader for OBD1 uh, technology, which is uh, before the OBD2, obviously. So the first test we're going to perform is a key on engine off test. And what we need to do for that is we need to turn the ignition on. By the way, I did get the extension uh, cable for this because that OBD1 port is so far back in a doghouse, I wouldn't have been able to use this. So it's connected up. I didn't do a video of that. You wouldn't have seen anything except for me uh, bitching and moaning. So, But we're connected up, and now we're going to turn the ignition on, and we are going to turn the scanner on, and we've got our three zeros, which is normal. And then we're going to hit the test button. And you can hear the engine doing all kinds of crazy little things there. Um, now it's quiet and it's running a test. You can see the light flashing. Now the good news is we got the scanner hooked up and it's working. The bad news is so far it's given us a, a code 111 which means that it passed the self test and that was for the key on engine off check that uh, puts the computer in a uh, self test now we're going to turn this off obviously because we have no codes for that problem turn the ignition back off make sure everything's wires are clear nothing in the way and now we're going to do what's known as a key on uh, engine running test and during that test I have to um, turn the steering wheel a half a turn uh, actuate the brake and also actuate the overdrive switch and then at some point it's going to ask me to depress the accelerator uh, to do one more check and then we're just going to wait and see what it says so let's get to it got to get a better position here otherwise I can't reach anything All right, so wires are out of the way, scanner's off, turn the engine on, you turn the scanner on and you're going to hear the engine start to rev. And again, good news is the scanner works. Bad news is I've got a code 111, which means everything checked out thoroughly. So, I'll turn this off. Turn the engine off. And 
pull the scanner off. And then we can turn it on and just double check. Memory, eight cylinder check, code 111, no other codes. So it passed. So uh, at this point, I'm kind of at a loss. I'm gonna leave this connected up, uh, see if there's some other tests I can do with this, uh, with this reader. But let me start her up and show you again what the problem is. All right. When I hit the accelerator, if I go to the floor with it, it wants to die. So, we're back to the drawing board, folks. I'm um, really thinking I might have a bad distrib distributor, yeah, a distributor, distributor cap could be cracked. Uh, so I think um, we'll check into that. Everything else, according to this, all the smog stuff and um, uh, ERG valves, and, uh, catalytic converter monitors, O2 sensors, everything is working fine. So. Um, it's not picking up whatever it is, and I'm surprised if it's a, an ignition problem that it's not showing up on here. But stranger things have happened. I'll tell you, I've seen some crazy stuff with engines. Um, also, I'm going to check the, look up the firing order on this. Who knows? Maybe somebody messed with it and got one of the wires crossed. Uh, but then I think that would show up on, on this uh, gadget here. Um, there is one more test that I can do with this uh, unit, um, but it really doesn't have anything to do with the problem I'm having. But we'll probably run it uh, in the future um, anyway, just to see how it turns out. And that's a cylinder balance test. But according to this, uh, everything seems fine so far. So that's the update for today. Don't want to bore you. I'm a little di disappointed. You know, I was hoping to see a nice code here and. Uh, direct me right to the problem and bingo we'd be all set but uh, not not getting that so well guys uh, hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give me a thumbs up and share and uh, don't forget to subscribe we'll see you again soon take care bye